Faraday's electrolysis method of corrosion monitoring is also one of the method of corrosion monitoring. Let's discuss the Faraday's electrolysis method of corrosion monitoring. This method works on the basis of Faraday's law of electrolysis. And Faraday's first law of electrolysis states that the mass of primary product formed at an electrolyte by electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passed, thus, M is directly proportional to IT. Since, M is equal to ZIT. Where, M is mass of primary product in gram. ZAT is proportionality constant. I is current in ampere. T is time in second. And Faraday's second law of electrolysis states that the masses of different primary products formed by equal amounts of electricity are proportional to the ratio of molar mass to the number of electrons involved with a particular reaction. M1 is equal to M1 by N1 and directly proportional to Z1. Similarly M2 is equal to M2 by N2 and directly proportional to Z2. Here, small m is mass of primary product in gram and capital M is the molecular mass in gram. ZAT is proportionality constant. On combining equation 1 and 2, we get M is equal to K times M by N times IT. Or M is equal to 1 by F times M by N times IT. And we know that, W is equal to M by M. Since W is equal to 1 by F times IT by N. Therefore, W by T is equal to MI by NF. Or, W by AT is equal to MI by NF. A is equal to M into I by NF. Therefore, we get, W by AT is equal to MI by NF. Hence, the rate of corrosion is proportional to the current passed and to the molar mass with respect to time. By using this equation, weight loss in corrosion per area can be determined. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you.